Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2021. Yesterday, Thursday, amazing day. Wow. In fact, right now, I am exhausted because of it. I really am. I was teasing because last night I was in auction with um, Carol's Creative Corner and Angie Real Real Housewife. And I am not a night person at all. I, I was teasing. I'm like, I'm the geriatric woman that needs to be in bed by 8 o'clock. Because by the end of the auction, I was like... <laughs> no, part of it has to do with the muscle relaxers that I'm on for my back. Yes, I'm still having back trouble. And it probably didn't help that I lifted up about, I don't know, about 150 pounds of books and merchandise. And went digging yesterday. And oh, yeah, I'm a little sore today. But... I'm groggy because of those muscle relaxers, but I think today is going to be a very interesting day. Uh, let's start off with what sold because, wow, oh, wow. All right. Obviously, I sold movies. So I sold some um, really good movies. Um, some of them you may have seen. Um, Undisputed to The Last Standing. This is a Ving Rhames uh, film. This one sold for $10. I have Sword of Desperation. This is one of those uh, Japanese uh, martial arts sword films. Um, this one sold for $10. I have Angel Heart. This happens to be one of my favorite old movies. Very, very hot, steamy. It's with Mickey Rourke, um, Robert De Niro, and, uh, of course, uh, what's her name? Lisa Bonet, who used to be on The Cosby Show. And because of this movie... That was one of the reasons she got kicked off of the Cosby Show. So very whew, hot movie. Um, Angel Heart sold for six dollars. I have Man Bites Dog, part of the Criterion collection. It's a French film with English subtitles, and it's a dark satire of reality TV. I, I have to watch this one. I think I said it the last time I had to watch. That one sold for $9.99. We have Ski School, and Ski School is one of those, like, um, raunchy college-type uh, comedy sort of things. This one sold for $10. I have Serrano de Bergerac. This one sold for $5. And ironically, I'm a little upset about something because it turns out one of these... Uh, never made it to a customer, and I just got the notification last night from um, the post office that it's nowhere to be found, that it is indeed lost. Now, obviously, with these, I do not put insurance. If I had insurance on these, I would have got my money back, but these only sell for $5. If I would have known that, since this is my last copy, I would have sent him this copy, but instead, I did have to refund somebody five dollars for this movie but it turns out somebody bought the last one five dollars yesterday if that made any sense what i'm saying is if if i knew that they didn't find it i would have given them that copy it took the sale off i have no more copies unfortunately and then this one is forbidden planet that's the sci-fi old movie um uh robot whatever so leslie nielsen early leslie nielsen on this. Uh, so this one sold for $6.99. But wait, there's more. Of course there's more. Remember this thing? I still have no idea what this is. It's Kashasha. Kashasha Kaipurinia. It's Leblon Chataka. Kashasha. This is that lime uh, test tube. You mash up the things and then you put the stuff in. And you have a really cool drink. Um, so it's a uh, Leblon Kashasha. Kashashasha. I don't know. Maybe somebody could pronounce it. But um, I can't pronounce this at all. It gives you the instructions. Add lime. You sweeten, sweeten. You muddle and mash. You fill with ice. You put your Leblon Kashasha over the ice. You shake well. And then you serve. So it's a little bartender thing. I sold this for $9.99. I bought a bunch of these at Goodwill for 50 cents each. So I'm glad they're gone. That was my last one. So no more kachachas. But hey, not too bad. You buy them cheap and then you just resell. That's, that's the key to retail arbitrage. Then I sold this three pack of scunchy 
hair thingies. They're the little alligator clips for your hair. These things are usually expensive. So why I went so cheap? Eh, I do that all the time. I got these at... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Actually, is this the right one? Yes. Yeah, to be a lot of effort. Beautiful. I have to make sure it's the right number because I have a whole bunch of these. Six pack. Yep, that's these. Um, I sold this for $9.99. Super light to ship. I just have to be careful. I'm wondering if I should put this in a box because they're going to get crushed. Yeah, I'm going to box these up. It'll still be a first class. Oh, oh yeah. Look. Any tiny box. That's what I'm going to do. Aha. All right. So that was my sale on E. Oh, one more thing. Forgot about this guy. Look at this. It is a signed copy of good old Grand Jubilee from the Grand Country Music. I bought these, um, bought these for a dollar at, um, did I pay a dollar? Yes, I paid a dollar for these at a recent estate sale. And I grabbed all of them simply because I had a whole bunch of these signed by each and every one. So I sold this for $25. That to me is a nice flip. Buy for a dollar, sell for $25. So that was my sales for yesterday. Then let's talk about my estate sale. Now I will admit I did not do an estate sale video simply because I'm like, oh, I have the footage of me walking around recording it. Well, guess what? It never recorded. All that time I'm walking around talking, rummaging through the stuff with this amazing sale. Turns out my camera wasn't even on and it wasn't even recording. Ugh. Which is a shame because this was a hoarder, a hoarder house. I am going to go back to it tomorrow because she had some amazing things. Um, I brought out some of the amazing things yesterday in auction. And I have to say, I I did amazing. Um, I sold the stuff super, super cheap. In fact, people were saying that my prices were too low. Um, I'm not going to complain about that because what I made yesterday was triple the amount of what I spent on all the stuff. And the only thing I sold yesterday was less than 20% of the stuff I actually got. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Yes. In other words, I ended up getting nine boxes of material. I only sold like two boxes of what I got, not even two boxes, but like two boxes of what I got yesterday was sold. Still have seven more boxes of inventory to go through. And I tripled the amount of what I spent at that sale. Just on those two boxes alone. So I got a lot of fun stuff. And let me tell you something. that I got some really interesting things. A lot of, um, oh, what is it? Order of the Eastern Star memorabilia, which is part, which is like the female portion of the Masons, the Freemasons, Masonic Temple, something like that. It's funny because um, I thought I thought it was all satanic stuff until I did. So I'm probably going to insult somebody. But like, OK, I'm just going to show you a whole bunch of items with this. So I've got like cups and towels and memorabilia, I've got trivia cards. I've got like their entire collection of, um, uh, what do you call it? Monthly quarterly planner things. So I, I don't even know which direction you have to hold it in. So, um, I, I saw this, I thought it was, uh, <laughs> I thought they were Satanists, but then I realized they're not Satanists. So I had to do a little research. And like I said, it was the order of the Eastern star, which is a subgroup of the Freemasons and that particular subgroup was usually the wives of the masters. I know I'm saying this wrong. I don't know. I have to do more research. I, you know what? It's going up on eBay because that stuff is a bolo. You see that kind of stuff? Just put it up on eBay that people go crazy over that stuff. Um, so that's some stuff I have to go through. I have, Ooh, I have an entire collection of, uh, piano magazines. Uh, not magazines, uh, piano music. So I was really looking at the comps of that stuff. I'm excited about that. And I have a whole bunch of other stuff. So yesterday's sale, I actually have to box up 10 separate orders of what I sold yesterday. And each of those orders has a lot of stuff in those orders. So what that means is I'm going to be working my butt off today. 
aside from working my butt off today, I've got the, uh, I can't talk. Tonight is on my channel. In fact, I got to set everything up. I'll set everything up now. On my channel is going to be Trivia Night and, uh, and, uh, ugh, Trivia Night and Auction. Yes, we're doing Trivia Night and Auction with Adam Creed, uh, Laura Vimos, Marion, and myself. Then we go to the Mass Singer, which is on the Bargain Effect. And then tomorrow, which is Saturday, I'm doing a special pop up auction um, on Angie's channel. She invited myself and Aaron together and we are and that happens to be his very first auction so that's gonna be exciting we're looking forward to that can't wait to see his stuff because he has amazing uh what do you call it uh storage auctions like he buys uh storage units that is my plan for the next two days oh and tomorrow i'm going back to that sale hmm. so that you could tell i am going to be busy i'm already looking at my eyes i've got the bags under my eyes I'm loopy as anything. That's, of course, because of the muscle relaxers. So, yeah, I got some work to do. So let me say bye-bye. Take care. I wanted to keep this video short. And we will talk to you soon. This is Melanie with Light Beam Treasures.